Hello and welcome back. This is Jacob Furrier and I'm about to react to the 231st episode of Dave Matson's LT Parodies. This one's subtitled A New Troublemaker. Hmm, I wonder who that could be. Well, oh, and we could find out by watching it, so I can't spoil it for you. So, we'll see it. Here we go. Three, two, one, and play! The, the following, following video, video contains content, content and, and or language, language which may be considered unsuitable for younger viewers. viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Ooh, we have different music. That's awesome. Microsoft Spam. Microsoft, Microsoft Mike. Microsoft Mary. Microsoft Anna. Microsoft Sarah. Microsoft, Microsoft David. Kevin Fox. Mama Logan. Logan. Nadine Falls. Flame Springs. Cortana. Scotty B3, aka Radar Rover Sir Scotty. Jimmy Doors. Hank O'Hare. Curious Free. Harvey Sisson. Microsoft Eva. Microsoft, Microsoft Mark. Mark. Michael, Michael Lernout. Michelle, Michelle Komsky. Komsky. Ula Bush. Ebony Bush. Wally Warner. Rhonda Raven. Astro Madison. Wanda Eagles. Cedric. Cedric. Athena. Ms. Madison. Jenny Madison. Terry Falcon. Thanks, Crow. Martina Spy. Mitch Davidson. Microsoft Freddy. Microsoft Brutus. Miguel. Kyan. Kerry Donaldson. Timothy Lai. John Virginia. Ben Silvestro. Corey Silvestro. Stephanie Silvestro. Rachel Silvestro. All resident or accounted for. As Tootie Seeds would say, let's get on with the LT parodies. And there goes Dave mentioning Tootie CH once again. If she would see this, then she would be really, really excited. I would predict that. What? Who's more than Disney? I don't know. Oh, and Roy's no good big brother. The disowned member of the Disney family. As, As I, I did, did with, with my, my no good big brothers, brothers Bernard, Bernard and Billy, Billy I disowned them. them. Warner Disown Pictures, Pictures presents, presents a Black Sheep production of a new animal film. film. Remember the Black Sheep Squadron. Robert, Robert Conrad dared you to knock the battery off his shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was back in news reporting. What's the matter, Mitch? I'm just not comfortable with generic news reporter being the anchor person. He's trying, Mitch. I know, Dave. Very trying. I hired generic to be the new anchor in our respective studios because Cedric likes watching generic's appearance in his new sentiments. Is that all? Oh, there goes. Tuesday CH's catchphrase. Again, and she would be really excited whenever uh, the Dave Madsen singers would use uh, one of Tuesday CH's catchphrases. Really? really? Dave, Dave Madsen, Madsen singers. singers? Really? I didn't know that! Why, Why did you want Mitch to retire, to retire from, from reporting? reporting? Because, because Mitch doesn't, doesn't want Maya to become, become a troublemaker, troublemaker again, again. Like, like when, when the S zombies zapped her. her. 
She needs protection and security, Dave. That explains it. I could uh, imagine Mitch being uh, Maya's bodyguard. I understand why I retired from news reporting. As Maya's husband, I won't let anyone do her any harm. And as your wife, Mitch, I won't let anyone make me a troublemaker again. That's my stepbrother. Warner Stepbrothers Pictures presents Looney Steptoons in Step Nicola. <laughs> See where this is going. Ah, uh, this, this sure, sure is, is exhilarating. exhilarating. You said it, Eva, but how, how come, come you have your arms at your, your side while I have mine stretched? Do, Do what, what you're, you're comfortable, comfortable with, with, Michelle. Michelle. Raise, Raise you, you to the moon and back. back. I, just I just got, got a call from Maximo, Maximo alias, alias Thunderbirds 404. He, he says, says congratulations, congratulations to the NBN Elite, Elite Forces, Forces for defeating the Tick Controllosa creature. I'm glad to hear this great news from our boss. That's I hope he visits our studio all day. Yeah, I hope so too. We should ask our boss permission if he's willing to visit this studio. So Thunderbirds 404 is the boss that Timothy is referring to. Aha! Cedric thought it was related to child labor laws. Maximo is the big boss of NBN Corporation and the supreme captain of the NBN Elite Forces, and he will help take troublemakers down like Miguel, Kian, and Timothy did. What happened, Stephanie? Stephanie. Someone, Someone sprang a trap door beneath us, Ben. Later, after Ben and Stephanie climbed out of the basement pool. Who dumped Ben and Stephanie into the pool? Not me. 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 I think someone here is lying. Not me. Not me. Not me. Not me. Not me. One of you is lying. Who made Ben and Stephanie fall from the floor to the basement pool? I don't know. I did it. Who are you? I am Betty McLean, Bernard Donaldson's girlfriend and the new member of the gang. Oh my god! Bernard has a girlfriend now! Oh my god, uh, 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 Bernard's mother should, uh, uh, should force him to split up with her right now. I can't believe it! What did you expect, you little wimp? He's not a wimp, you troll-eater! That's what I say! Shut, Shut the, the fuck, fuck up, up you assholes. Why did you make Ben and Stephanie fall through the floor into the basement pool? I was pissed off at them for what they did to Bernard and Billy, so I took revenge by dumping them into the pool. You filthy slut! How dare you make my siblings fall through the floor to the basement pool for what they justifiably did to Bernard and Billy? They did this because we don't want to see them dump all over Harry after he protected Abby. Don't you dare call me a slut, you little nimwit. Hey, don't you dare say that to a young boy. Shut up, you sissy. Don't you dare call me a sissy, you ass white. Call Sam a sissy one more time and I'll zap you. Not if I zap you first, you ugly harlot. <laughs> Ben, 
Whoa. Are you all right, Harry? Mad. That James got lightning in her eyes. I feel like I'm the main course at a big roast. Be still, Harry. You can withstand the blows, remember? That's right, Martina. Once I get my strength back, I'm taking a shower. And where's Hannah? Over here, Sam. That, that blast had more kick than a pack of misery mules. There's one thing I've got to say about Harry. He's really courageous and heroic. You little one. How dare you interfere with my plans? I'm gonna shit all over you for this. Mom's away. Nope. That's a decoy of me, Betty. Now it's our turn. Bombs away. Ooh! Now that's how you use the atomic enema on a troublemaker. You said it, sister. Just look at her. She got a taste of her own medicine. Not only that, she's now having skunk syndrome. What is going on? General, we had a run-in with Betty McLean, girlfriend of Bernard Donaldson and member of the Notorious B-Gang. She tried to zap Anna, but Harry saved her. Then they tried to dump all over Harry, but Cedric and Sam turned the tables and dumped all over her. I need to wear this gas mask, since she's covered in mess and diarrhea. That's what happens when you use an atomic enema on a troublemaker. Pew! Later, after General Connor Reynolds and his troops cleaned up Betty and took her into custody, Freddy and Brutus took Harry to the in-studio clinic to treat his injuries, and Anna took a shower. I'm so impressed, Harry, for your protecting me from getting zapped by Betty. Thanks for saving my life. I also extend my thanks, Harry, for saving Anna. You really are a superhero. Don't mention it, Sam and Anna. That's the least I can do to protect you and your upcoming wedding from my no-good big brothers and Betty. I can't believe Bernard's girlfriend has laser my powers. Neither can I. She's the dangerous bloke who tries to get us into big trouble like Bernard and Billy do. Whoa. Bloke. Dave knows that word. Now, I tend to use the word bloke uh, quite often because I mostly speak British English and I tend to use British slang words quite a lot. <clears throat> Moving on. I feel glad that Ben, Corey, and Stephanie are safe. They all showed their courage against that troublemaker. She may try again, but we'll be ready for her. You saved my kids from that troublemaker, Harry. You're my hero. You're welcome, Mrs. Silvestro. Hey, has anyone seen Michelle and Eva? They, they went, went off flying around when we had the run-in with the notorious Betty McLean. We just got back from a race to the moon and back. We finished in a tie, and there's no cheese on the moon. You missed all the fun. We just beat back a big fat rat. To celebrate Harry's bravery and heroism, let's all go out to dinner. You read my mind, Cedric. So where shall we go, Dave? As Cedric told me, the place we're going is... Mr. Coco's Chocolate Express, your one-stop destination to indulge Chocolate Choo-choo-choo. Hot, 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 Wow. That was... That was pretty good. I enjoyed it. And, um... And hopefully, and Two D Siege would see this, and so uh, the rest of my viewers. And thank you all so much for watching. And like or dislike, I don't care about the raid scenes. Uh, for me, uh, leave a comment down below what you think. Uh, uh, and constructive criticism is welcome. Follow me on different social media and subscribe.
and then tap that bell and set it to all and never miss new content from me. And with that, that's all. Peace.